Hey, in this game development experiment, I'm giving myself one hour to use ChatGPT for all the coding for a game, and then I'm going to be creating a game within Unity. So if you're ready, come along for the journey. Let's go. Okay, so here I am in ChatGPT. Let's go ahead and get started. So I wanna create a hyper casual game. Okay, so we're gonna hopefully try to keep this something simple. Tap to avoid, one tap jumping, color switching, and Fruit Ninja clone, and one touch drawing. Okay, so I'm gonna try maybe doing the color switching game in a 3D game, but I can go ahead and actually use this for a 2D game as well. So the only main difference between a 2D game and a 3D game is really the main camera. So I'm gonna select the main camera. And we're gonna change this from a perspective to an orthographic projection. So what that does, it just makes everything flat and it sees everything flat. I need to also import some a package manager that is my 2D assets. So we're gonna import the 2D package. We're gonna install that. And then what we wanna do is we wanna generate uh, game objects on top of the screen that are going to move down. And we wanna be able to touch the screen to change the color of our sphere, okay? So we need to go ahead and create some scripts for that. Okay, so the next thing I want to do here is to detect if the player does touch one of those spawned objects. So, okay, so what I'm telling it to do here is to, in the player script, detect if um, one of the enemies has touched the player. Yeah, so it's telling me that it is hitting those game objects, which is perfect. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is to detect to see if the spawned object is the same color um, as the player. So those are the same color, shouldn't give us any error. There we have a color change and it's giving us exact, it's doing exactly what we asked it to do. Cool. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is every time I pass one of those walls that we continue, I want to be able to add to score. So I, I need to create a UI for that. So let's Dang it, but it is updating my score, so that's awesome. The next thing we need to do is we need to add some sound because this is a really boring game without any sound. So let's go ahead and, I have free sound up, so let's go ahead and add some sounds here. Um, uh, add, uh, let's see, sound for UI click. That's a cool sound, but it's a little bit long. Yeah, let's go ahead and just use this one. Okay, so I need to add a sound for every time the screen is clicked. Good, that works. All right, so now we need some background music. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of background music real quick. Okay, so I've got about 
10 minutes left of my one hour. And what I want to do is I want to um, also add a button to my UI that I can reset the game. So there we go, I have now run out of time and I'm not done, but that you can see how I can create a game really, really fast, which is awesome. And this is using ChatGPT uh, for building a game for Unity. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that video and there might be something that you can use for your games. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that little bell icon down there so you know when the next tutorial is available. Until next time.